Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Wonsi Vice, and today we're going to talk about how to make a QR code work for your classroom. Here we go. Now the first thing that you want to do is go up here to your web address bar and type the following website in. GoQR.me Once you are on this website, you're going to want to put your text in this box. I'm going to be typing some text and this text will be shout out to all of Mr. Monsi's followers. Okay. After I type this text, what I will do is click on the download button. I do not touch any of this information here. All I do is choose the JPEG image which stands, which stands for a picture. So I will click on this button right here. And now my picture has gone into my downloads folder. Okay. So here is my code. Now you should be able to see this code on your screen right now. If you have a QR code app, scan it right now. You can scan it from your TV screen or your YouTube screen. And you will see the message that I typed in there, which says shout out to my viewers. That's what you would do if you want your students to scan a piece of text information. Now, if you want them to scan a website, then what you do is the following. If you want your students to be scanning a website, then instead of typing some text in here, you need to find a website that you want your students to open on their tablet or phone. So let me go ahead and look for a website now by clicking a new tab. Top 1000 vocabularies. Vocabulary words. For the SAT. I'm going to click on this website called the vocabulary.com, top 1000 vocabulary word list. Now here's the website vocabulary.com, and these are a thousand vocabulary words, as you can see. Since I want my students to have access to this resource, what I will do is I will click up here on this search bar. I need to make sure everything is highlighted. So I'm going to highlight everything. Then I'm going to copy this website. And then I'm going to go back to the QR code generator, goqr.me, click on here, and I'm going to paste the website. After I finish pasting the website, as you can see here, it has created another QR code and I'm going to click on download. Again, I do not mess with any of the information here. All I choose is JPEG and it automatically goes down into my download folder. Okay, so I'm going to open the most recent QR code. Now, if you use your phone to scan this QR code, you will see that it will take you to the vocabulary.com. And that is how you create your own QR codes. You can either have students open websites with their phone or tablets, or their phone or tablet could display a message. The message option is great if you want to do a scavenger hunt. This has been another video by Mr. Monsivice and... You've been Monsivice.